And we're live. This is Kelly, and I'm here with my dear friend and mentor, Sarah, the modern like modern day Schengen. Hi, Sarah. Hi there, Kelly. Thank you for having me on. I'm excited to talk about your work and um, how it's helped me. Oh, thank you. So I guess from if we jump straight in, then what made you want to start working with me when you first started like what drew you in that you thought this would be a, a great thing for you well i'm always curious about how um each of us individually can explore more spiritually explore ourselves more spiritually and, and energetically and um i'm also a little bit reticent often to work with people if they haven't looked at their own self enough. But because I know that you've been working with me for a, a year or so, I know how deeply you've gone into your own self so that you can open up to your talents and your gifts. And divine feminine energy is not something that I have had the pleasure until now of exploring. And I know that you were an expert in it not only in the fact that you've learned about it, but you embody it. And um, it was an easy decision for me to ask you if I could join your circle of energy and learn from you. Oh, well, I'm so honoured to, to share this space with you. So I know we've been working for a together for a few months on that now so if you think about like at the beginning and to where you are now kind of what have been the big shifts or the, the results well <laughs> how long have you got what happened was that I wasn't really aware of the distortions that I was carrying within feminine energy and masculine energy because both were distorted even though I'd done a lot of personal development spiritual development work and continue to do this was another look at it another way of going in um, and it uncovered layers in my life that didn't support the divine didn't support my creative force that went through my physical body my personal relationships and a lot in my business as well in terms of um, the way I was showing up. So I had quite a strong physical expression of detox. I ended my personal relationship in the way that it was, it was five years on um, and that ended, although it then rekindled in a very much more powerful and healthy way. And in my business, basically, the more and more, I knew this anyway, but the more and more and more that I do less of the doing, because I don't really like all of the strategy and structure, um, the more things come towards me, the more ideas I have. And I've, I've really understood that I'm good at the big picture. Someone else needs to do the steps between. And that's something that I was able to define through this work. Oh, that's beautiful. You're able to step more into your leadership role, more into, yeah, yeah your vision, actually, and your creative ideas. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so you talked a bit about the physical detox, but I think this is really, you know, honest to talk about as much as you want to share. But what was a bit sticky through our journey together? Um, feeling rubbish, <laughs> feeling physically tired, um, finding that my, you know, my cycle and everything like that was all turned up and on its head, uh, and in being emotionally frustrated about that, which is part of the distortions in feminine that I was carrying anyway. Um, and it lasted a few weeks. I can't say that it, it was something that was easy or quick to get over. It, it wasn't. It, it lasted a few weeks. But I recognised what it was. Yeah, because you've done so much work. But I think it's a good point. This work, because it requires you to embody the divine feminine, it, I really feel like it almost updates the whole frequency right down yeah. to a cellular level. 
and yeah. so there's an in, there is there is a need for stronger boundaries for those that don't have that and time so that they have that time to integrate yeah. because the more that you allow yourself to do it I, I really feel that the stronger the result the stronger you're able to get those spiritual gifts your creative ideas yeah. it's interesting that in in the energetic work the the shift is immediate um but living it is something quite different and obviously the the energetic shift won't stay with you if you continue in an old pattern and that's what i was doing is that i was integrating and moving into something new yeah beautiful i just yeah i absolutely love uh love working with you on both sides you with me and me with you yeah. has there been any unexpected benefits of of activating your divine feminine Yes, I doubled my income. And at the moment, you're the only person that I'm working with in, in terms of on myself and on my business. So there's no coincidence. Um, I mean, and it's six, six figures. So I've, I've, I've gone from 200 to 400,000 in terms of turnover. And it's just me not doing that much. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And it just shows you, you know, you can really do what you love, share your spiritual gifts and not overwork yourself, you know, this old masculine model of push, push, push to achieve these beautiful results. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I did know that playing more was a way to grow my business. But playing more in distortion is almost a little bit like apathy. And that's not what you're teaching. It's not what you're sharing. And it's not what I do. Yeah, yes. Now. <laughs> it's so true because we think we may think, oh, feminine energy is about leaning back and it's about um, making sure that you're receiving. But if your energetic frequency is in distortion, i.e. that's about manipulating yeah. and about sucking things in and about manipulating people and money and energy in order to get it, then because these are some of the distorted feminine traits, yeah. then you're not actually doing it in that pure divine frequency, which yeah. makes it easier. I also what came to me just then was entitlement because you can lean back and go, well, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. Um, and that again, negates the divine energy because there's no entitlement in that. It just is a birthright that if you're in the flow, it will come to you. Yes. And it's, so it's, so my work, I feel it's about really working on yourself so that you see where those blocks are mm. and a lot of it is due to trauma so it's not because we're stupid or we can't do it right a lot of it is because no. we've been yeah. traumatized and i'm talking about multi-generation multi-lifetime traumatization that's really been passed through our genes um through our society our conditioning so clearing this up um it it takes a while but once it's done you're really in that that new feminine frequency which i feel we're really seeing starting to rebirth around the world right now yeah well we've stepped into the age of aquarius which, which is about empowering spirituality and spirituality is this marrying of divine feminine and divine masculine but educating people on what that is i think is your role here um because there's distortion around the understanding of it. Yes, and we're seeing a lot of people talking about masculine and feminine mm. now, aren't we? And some of the posts, I'm like, oh, it's, yeah. if you're in distortion yourself, then when you're teaching it, you don't realize you're teaching distortion. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's something that particularly drew me to you, Kelly, is that you use your ego to motivate you forwards, but it's not the thing shouting out about what you do. Um, it is not the thing needing to prove that you can. What comes through you specifically, I feel, is this knowing of the absolute power of the divine energies working together. And I think that when you have that knowing, there's no need to shout about it or you use shock tactics. 
to get attention. It's about being in your truth, which I think that you embody really well. Oh, well, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you and also talking to you today. Is there anything else you want to say before we hop off? Well, I think that if anyone's watching this and is inquiring um, with Kelly to work with her, I suggest you say yes to it um, with your whole heart. Invest in yourself because you won't look back. It will make such a difference to your life, to your business and to all your relationships. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much, Sarah. If you thank want you. to get in touch with Sarah, I'll put the links below as well. And I'll uh, see you very soon. Bye. Bye.